Welcome back to Shotoku Tech, where I dream of making a 3D printed modular model rocket fin can. Check it out. A first time design such as this is kind of an iterative process and I was admiring the strength of this but coming to realize that if I was going to modify the Estes Leviathan these fins would probably come up being a little too small. So I decided to go to a BT70 which is a lighter tubing and I needed to lighten up the gores that would be inserted into the slots of the body tube. So I reworked the design entirely but I kept the fins because the fins look like they'd be perfectly suited for a BT-70 rocket. That's uh, 56 millimeters in diameter. So we have all the parts printed out. First, you have the slot cutting guide here. Slide that over the tube, cut the slots. There's the motor mount from those laser cut rings I depicted earlier. And those are spaced around the gores where the gores will be inserted through the slots. So you place the motor tube in there and start inserting the gores. Now the gores have those little tangs that are going to hold the motor tube in place. So the motor mount is reliant on the fin mount and the fin mount is essentially reliant on the motor mount. It should be a one solid unit by the time we get this all pieced together. So we'll get the first fin in there. It's a little difficult jockeying the screws into place in some cases. Later on I figured out you don't want to make each of these tight as you assemble them because when you get to the last fin you have to loosen them all up just to get the last fin on. So leave them loose while you're doing this. Look for the link below to the Thingiverse page where I'll have all these parts posted. This will be a work in progress. I'm going to continue to improve the fin mount area. I had that big block of plastic on the fin for the other project that I decided to can for the moment. Again, these fins just didn't seem big enough for the Estes Leviathan, but they look like they'd be perfect. It's a sort of a steampunk effect on this BT-70 56mm tube. And you see, the fins just kind of bolt right on not too difficult to get it to come together. The screw and the nut all fit within the recess of that bracket. Again here, I tightened it up all the way, so you wind up stretching everything to one side and not evenly distributing the tension around the tube. We'll even manage to get the third fin in just fine. Yeah, you can see there now I'm just starting to realize, wow, I'm going to have a difficulty getting this fourth fin in, so I'm going to have to loosen all the screws all the way around, so I'm rotating the rocket and loosening the screws as I go, trying to get those last gores to come together approximately 20 millimeters apart, because the width of the fin base is 20 millimeters. So I keep loosening and loosening and loosening. And I think I'm about ready. There, I've managed to get the fourth fin in. Like I say, we don't need to tighten this up all the way. Until we get all of the pieces in place. There we go. So now we can begin the process of tightening them up all the way around.
Now the fins are very sturdy. They're not they're not fluttering at all here. And the motor mount's locked in there really tight too. There's nothing moving here. This is solid. I even shook it a little bit. There's the shock cord. I'm going to tuck that back in so it's out of the way. Finished product. Looks good. Thank you very much. Shotoku Tech. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share. Thank you very much.